Hi, my name is Tom Haddy and I'm the author and creator of a new YouTube channel dedicated to MMA and boxing. Uh, I'm a lecturer, I lecture to postgraduates, but MMA and boxing are both big interests of mine. I'm looking at the matchup between Taylor and Serrano. This is their second match. Taylor won the first one, uh, not in a particularly convincing style. So this is Taylor versus Serrano 2. This is Katie Taylor on the left here, and this is Amanda Serrano on the right here. Now this is a young Amanda Serrano in maybe 2011 winning the Super Bantamweight title. And this is a more seasoned, more recent version of Amanda Serrano, still as supreme boxer. Now let's look at her record. Now, the interesting thing is that she's had 50 um, contests. An important loss is her on her 51st contest matchup, she lost to Katie Taylor. Now there's a couple of things to say here. Firstly, it was an important loss, but it's not a significant loss and it's not a defining loss. Everybody who saw that fight, including myself, knew that there was no way you could say that Katie Taylor was the definitive winner. Others considered Serrano to be the winner. Some thought it was a draw. So. Taylor versus Serrano 2 is going to be uh, an amazing fight and it's going to be something that I think Serrano in particular is looking forward to. Um, Serrano has fought some extremely outstanding lady boxers over the years. Guterres is good. Uh, Mahfoud is good. Heather Hardy is good. Uh, Eva Vorberger is good. So what can we say about Serrano? She's highly regarded. In in Europe, she's considered with Katie Taylor to be maybe one of the world's truly leading outstanding female boxers. I know there are other Americans who would claim that title. She has relentless pressure and aggressive fighting style. She has a good punch, better than Taylor. Uh, she has remarkable dur durability. She's adaptable. She can adjust her fighting style. She has a well-rounded skill set now. Sometimes her defense can be lacking. That's often the case with very successful fighters because it works for them. They don't want to change it. Her footwork can be inconsistent. She doesn't have as good footwork as Katie Taylor and she doesn't have the same stamina, provenly so, as Taylor, in my view. This is Taylor, the Irish um, ex-footballer and current world champion boxer. She hasn't had as many um, matchups as... Um, Serrano uh, and she's this is her 25th fight and she lost to one of her first 24. She lost to the British um, Chantal Cameron but she was able to reverse that. She's had a lot of uh, really important victories. Her victory over Amanda Serrano was a bit fortuitous but it's still a victory. She's um, a good victory against Gutierrez, a good victory, two good victories against Delphine Person. Uh, many thought that um, Person actually won the first fight, the 14th fight, the 14th matchup on Katie Taylor's career. Um, but she's now uh, scheduled to fight uh, Amanda Serrano for the uh, titles on uh, Friday. Let's have a look. Taylor, exceptional boxing intelligence. Lightning fast hand speed like a young Mike Tyson. Incredible stamina, outstanding. Exceptional footwork. Weakness, well, she can be overly aggressive. Um, she lacks the raw power of Serrano. She has a slightly smaller stature than some of her larger opponents, but she has strengths that outweigh her weaknesses, okay? Right, this is my new channel. Thank you for watching. Um, this is me on the left, Tom Hadigan, and um, I hope that that you enjoy the fight between Taylor and Serrano.